everybody, I'm Lisa. Welcome to C3 Kids Church Online. I'm coming to you from Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we're all about helping people find their way back to God. C3 Kids Online is the place for kindergartners through third graders to learn all about Jesus and how much He loves us. As you may already know, this month we're talking about self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Hmm, it's not always easy to choose self-control, but with God's help, it's something we can all learn to do. You know, we've been talking about a remote control to help us learn about our life app this month. Think about if somehow we could have a remote control in life to help us pause before we did something that wasn't kind or mute, push the mute button that could help us not say something that could be hurtful. That would be awesome, right? Well, I thought it could be fun today to play a game where we use the things on a remote control to play a game of follow the leader. I'm going to teach you some moves that go along with the buttons on a remote, and then you'll have to follow my cues as to which motions we're going to do first, second, and third. Sound good? Okay, here are the moves. Play is going to look like this. You're just going to dance or freestyle or do whatever you want, okay? Fast forward looks like this. Just going forward, get it? And here's rewind. Just reverse that, right? And finally, pause goes like this. Oh, and once in a while, we'll throw in a mute in there, okay? So here we go. Follow my lead. Play. Rewind. Fast forward. Mute. Play. Pause. Play. Rewind. Fast forward. Mute. Re fast forward. Mute. Rewind, pause, play, mute, play, pause, play, rewind, fast forward, and done. Pause. Whew, that was fun. And the fun is just beginning. Now it's time to sing a worship song together. We sing worship songs to help us think about how awesome God is and also as a way for us to tell Him how much we love Him. And today's song is a song called, What I Choose. So let's stand up and sing this song together.
Our game earlier made me think about how it feels good when you have the remote and you can choose what you want to watch. If you want, you can make the characters go backwards and repeat themselves. You can pause them mid-sentence and force them to freeze. You can fast forward them to the next scene. You can even make them speak French. That's pretty awesome power, you know? Well, in today's story, we'll learn about someone who had a lot of power and the opportunity to use that power in a way that would help him come out on top. But instead, he paused and realized that taking matters into his own hands was not what God wanted for him. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 24. David had been chosen by God as Israel's next king. But for a while, Saul was still king. David served King Saul and won many battles for him. The people loved David. Hey, David, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow up my hey, David! Hey, 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 David! Hey, David! Saul, however, was deeply jealous of David. In fact, he even tried to kill him. David escaped into the wilderness, where around 400 men came to join him. People who were in trouble or owed money. A merry band of misfits. But Saul still saw David as a threat. When he heard that David and his men were camped in the desert of Maon, Saul took soldiers to chase after him. They're right behind us, David. Quick, we'll head around the mountain. Just as Saul and his men were closing in on David, Saul received word that the Philistines were attacking Israel. Oh, phooey. Saul was forced to stop the chase and deal with the Philistines. David and his men could breathe a sigh of relief. There's a safe place near En Gedi. Maybe Saul will finally leave us alone if we hide out there. But as soon as Saul had dealt with the Philistines, a messenger brought news. David is in the desert of En Gedi. Aha! We've got him this time. Gather 3,000 of the best soldiers from all of Israel. But, Your Majesty, David only has 400 men. 3,000, and not one less. Saul set out once more, determined to wipe out his rival. I bet that pipsqueak is hiding out near the rocky cliffs of the wild goats. Well, that seems... Oddly specific. Yeah, he used to herd sheep. In fact, David and his men have been staying near some sheep pens not far from the cliffs. So, headed this way, he's got 3,000 soldiers. Again? Why can't he leave us alone? We can take him on. I'm worth 10 of his soldiers. David could feel his anger boiling, but he took a deep breath. No. We won't fight them now. And uh, we won't have a choice in about six minutes. The caves! I, I want everyone inside! Stat! David and his men heard into a nearby cave that cut deep inside the cliffs. All the way to the back! They're here! Outside, near the sheep pens, Saul had called a halt. Take a break, men! At that moment, Saul found himself in need of a royal outhouse. <laughs> I require a, a royal outhouse. <clears throat> I believe there's a cave over there, Your Majesty. Uh, I suppose it'll do. Saul entered the cave. Far back in the cave, David and his men froze. Through the gloom, David could see the man who had tried to kill him and was now forcing him to live on the run. What if he finds us? I don't believe we're Saul's number one priority at the moment. He's alone. This is your chance. God's handed your enemy over. Don't let this chance just trickle away. David's anger burned red hot as he crept up behind Saul, sword at the ready. But then, 
he forced himself to stop. Instead of attacking Saul, David sliced off a corner off the king's long royal robe. Saul left the cave with no idea that David was still inside. Time to move out, men. This is the day we take out that whippersnapper David. But at that moment, David emerged from the cave and cried out, King Saul! David? David bowed low to the ground. Why do you listen when men say David is trying to harm you? This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord handed you over to me in the cave. Some of my men begged me to kill you, but I didn't. I said, he is the Lord's anointed king. Saul could only stare in shock as David held the piece of fabric he cut from Saul's robe. Look at this! I cut off the corner of your robe, but I did not kill you! Yet you are hunting me down to kill me! May the Lord show that I'm not guilty of doing anything wrong. May he save me from you. The truth cut Saul to the heart and began to weep. Oh, you are a better person than I am. You have treated me well, but I've treated you badly. May the Lord reward you. I know for sure that you will be king. Now, promise me that you won't kill my family or, or wipe out my name from my family line. David looked his enemy straight in the eye. I promise. Then Saul and his men returned home, and David and his band of misfits returned to their usual hiding place. David had amazing self-control in this story. He had every reason to be angry at King Saul. After all, King Saul had been trying to kill him. But when David had the chance to kill King Saul, even with all his men urging him to do it, he didn't let his anger control him. David's a great example of our bottom line this week. Don't be controlled by your anger. Of course, we all get angry from time to time. Sometimes we have good reason to be. You might get angry when you or someone you know is treated unfairly. Jesus himself got angry, but he had good reasons for it. He was angry when people hurt others, when people lied about him, or when people used their status to get rich and hurt others. But Jesus never let his anger control him. Let's be like Jesus and not let our anger control us. To help you discover more about that, we have some resources linked in the description of this video. So check them out and be sure to come back next week for another episode of C3Kids Online. See you then. Bye.